This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey, there we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, and I'm sitting in a different chair today. I told you I'd be back in the office. I just didn't say I'd be back at my desk. Hey, uh, when you get here, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, do what Abby has done already this morning. Leave a comment. Say hi, say good morning, wave, like the video, whatever seems appropriate to you in the venue where you're watching or listening. I know a lot of you listen to it on your podcast catcher. That's awesome. Appreciate that. And a few of you watch it on YouTube. Love you guys, too. Whatever you do, though, at some point you have to head back over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can join in the conversation here with everybody else. Now I have to look down here every once in a while because my screen's not up here next to the camera. So, it's been a busy week this week, been in a lot of different places, done this uh, show a lot of different ways, but uh, the the point is, we've been talking about fear all week, and I hope that that's been helpful for you. I, I know fear is one of the topics that um, kind of surprised me when I first started talking about fear years and years ago, that this turns out to be one of the topics that people... Uh, that resonate with people the most, that they can can see themselves in these circumstances and understand kind of the conversation. So I like to bring it up every once in a while. don't want to harp on it, but it is one of those things that uh, tends to be helpful for folks. So I like to do that. Um, hey, Joe, good morning. Abby beat you out this morning. <laughs> Um, so this week we've been talking about fear. Today is Free Coaching Friday. You know that that means uh, it's Stump the Coach Day. If you have a question, a comment, or something you'd like for me to talk about, whether it's fear-related or not, go ahead and put that in the comments. I will uh, pick one of those and get to that, or maybe just cover something on my own. Uh, just a quick recap of the week, though. Monday we talked about how fear is just our brain telling our mind to pay attention. You know, our brain is this super evolved supercomputer and it takes in all these different pieces of information and has to push up to you know our thinking mind our conscious mind uh, this idea that sometimes there's something going on over here that we need to pay attention to that is kind of the purpose of fear and why it exists in the first place and then you know monday we talked about fear of failure uh, and how we really shouldn't be afraid of failure because failure is how we learn but we get that whole idea kind of taught out of us over time. Um, and so then we begin to think failure is a bad thing. Then Wednesday was fear of success. You know, and that really becomes fear of the unknown. Well, we don't know what it's going to be like if this is successful, but at least here in my little world today, I know what this is like. So I'd rather stay here. Uh oh. There's that going. At least it looks laggy here to keep going. Maybe the recording won't lag so much. And then, of course, yesterday we talked about uh, confidence and courage, how it is impossible to demonstrate courage in the absence of fear. So if you're ever asking for courage, you're really asking to be afraid. And so really rather, I mean, courage might help us get through the immediate problem, but really in long term what we want is confidence. And it's not confidence of the outcome but confidence that we are able to persevere, that we're able to figure out whatever the situation is. Yeah. Well, and sorry about that. We'll see if we can't uh, get it to... I'll spray a little WD-40 in the side of the computer there, see if we can't speed it up. So, all of that is said um, to this end, right? That fear is something that we're going to experience. I mean, and, and to some extent, we even like it, don't we? I mean, it's Halloween week this week. I haven't seen any around town. I guess there are some, but um, like haunted houses, spook houses. I mean, 
<clears throat> they used to be around all the time, but we voluntarily go to those. We go to you know slasher movies, scary movies, because that little bit of adrenaline, a little bit under controlled circumstances, is fun, right? So we know that fear is not a bad thing; that it actually can be a fun thing. So we we just need to. I, I guess the the encouragement I would get you to take away from this week is that fear is something that not only can we not eliminate, we should look for, right? Because if if the purpose of fear is our brain telling our mind to pay attention, then we need to be doing things that we that have some value to them, that have some some risk that we need to pay attention to what we're doing. Because if we're not doing that, then we're just, you know, I'm going to go back to my, my good old example, we're just the hamster running in the wheel. If you want to make progress, if you want, there's the old coffee cup this morning, if you want different results, you have to do things different, and that's going to cause you to get out of your comfort zone. Out of the comfort zone sometimes leads to fear. We might call it some, I'm nervous. Well, it's the same, it's the same chemical and electrical thing going on in your body when you're nervous, when you're scared, when you're afraid, right? Just call it what it is. Know what it's for. Know that it's telling you to pay attention and then use it. Leverage that to your advantage. Use the hyper alertness and hypersensitivity that you get from that adrenaline dump to really focus and pay attention. Now, I'll throw one of my time management techniques in here too, the Pomodoro method, right? Where you work 20 minutes, take a five minute break, work 20 minutes, take a 10 minute break. When you, when, when you face something that has a fear, devote 20 minutes to it, right? You know it's not going to last forever. We can focus our time, energy, and attention for 20 minutes. And then that, that extra attention that we have because of the fear will actually help us get a little bit more done than we would have otherwise, all right? All right, so no questions have come in. I assume that means I've done a fantastic job this week of talking about fear. If you have questions or something you'd like for me to follow up on, by all means, send me a message, shoot me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Um, all of those venues, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to give you my feedback. Today is Friday. It's the first Friday of November. That means it's time for the Men of Business. We'll be meeting here in Huntsville at lunchtime, 11.30 at Terra Nova's. Uh, if you'd like to join us, that would be awesome. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this week. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope if you know someone who struggles with fear, anxiety, uh, or trepidation, you can share this series of videos with them, that it will be helpful for them, and they will give you all the credit for it. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Take care. Oh, now I have to lean over here to, to choose the outro video, because, you know, I don't have my keyboard short shortcuts.